everyone in the room what Pamela just said. She hasn't had a speaking engagement in over a year, and the first ones to invite her to a speaking engagement were the gays who trump. Woo! And now I'm going to do the world's shortest introduction because this man needs no introduction whatsoever. Wow. The world's most dangerous faggot. He understood that by the time you're talking about policy and, and free trade and all the rest of it, you've already lost the war. Because the war is fought in culture, the war is fought in academia, in the entertainment industry, and in news. These are institutions in America, supposedly the freest country in the world, that have been completely occupied by the political left. Now, for a while, that was okay for us. For a while, the left were the ones who had our backs. That is no longer the case. Traitors! They are, indeed. Yeah, traitors to yeah. the You've heard from Pamela Geller, who can speak with far more authority than I ever could, about the risk from jihad and radical Islam, or let's just say it, Islam. Yeah. Other people will have different views on that in the room, by the way, and that's perfectly respectable. That's perfectly okay. I take a harder line than some people in this room, that's all right. But what I want to talk to you very briefly about is a culture war, and having just got suspended from Twitter, they say permanently for getting in a fight with a black ghostbuster. <laughs> what a humiliating end to a wonderful Cops. run. <laughs> I thought it could at least be getting into a fight with somebody serious, but no. No. It was the, the tertiary star of a fucking terrible feminist flop. <laughs> It's never been very good at short-term tactics. We've always been better at that. And um, they chose to do it not only during the RNC, not only an hour before I come to speak to you people, but a day before I have the entire American media at my disposal in Radio Row at the convention. So I am going to make their lives hell. I know you're listening, Twitter. I know you're watching. Fusion, Vox, BuzzFeed, Mike, Gorka, The New York Times. Fuck, Fuck the lot of you. Yeah. You have done nothing for gays. While you were busy hectoring and bullying and nannying us about transgender pronouns, you completely forgot that, that politicians in this country, Democrat politicians, were welcoming in a religion that wants us dead. They were welcoming in movements and belief systems that are completely incompatible with the Western way of, way of life, with modern, Western, capitalist, liberal democracies. The only systems under which gay people are happy and successful and have rights. The only systems under which women are happy and successful and have rights. The only systems under which ethnic minorities are happy and have rights. This is the only system that works. Nothing has been devised. USA. And if the left wants to turn New York into Raqqa, it's got a fight on its hands because they're going to have to go up against the gays first. Now the left thinks that it owns academia and 
academia, the left thinks it owns the media, the left thinks it owns all of these things. Well, it's got a really nasty shock coming. Because I'm not the only person who is dedicated to the, to the destruction of liberal media in this country. Yeah. I am not the only person who recognizes that after a few decades of good work, these people have now thrown us under the bus. Yep. I'm not the only one who recognizes that a Republican candidate, that Donald Trump, is the most pro-gay candidate in American electoral history. Yeah! Go yeah. Trump! Brit, slightly over bleached hair, folked <laughs> out dress sense. We love you, Mallow. Woo! <laughs> I have come here to speak to you. I've come here to give you a warning from Europe. In the countries I come from, the countries that Gilda comes from, the countries that many of the speakers that you'll hear elsewhere come from, from Europe, we have seen what the results are of letting Western culture, that culture that protects us, that holds us precious, that keeps us safe. We have seen what the consequences of letting it go can be. Which is why... <laughs> I know, I've got police in the back. Yes, if you're in the back talking, go fuck yourselves, go out. Yeah! We have seen what the results of those odious decisions are, which is why next week I'm going to Sweden. Yeah! And in Sweden, which has the um, humiliating distinction of being the rape capital of Europe, thanks, of course, to Islamic immigration, what else? Where Islamic immigration isn't just hurting gays, as it is in Orlando, but it's hurting women more than anything else. And I will be leading a gay pride march through the Muslim ghetto in Stockholm. Yeah. I'll be doing this because nobody else will. I'll be doing this because the liberal media has decided that other people rank higher than we do in their oppression pyramid. Bullshit! We tables of victimhood. Well, you know what, growing up gay wasn't that fucking bad, let's be honest. <laughs> But I still don't see the reason why the left-wing press mollycoddles and panders to an ideology that wants me dead. I don't understand why brain-dead celebrities tweet out messages of hope and love and all these like, precious and It's fantastic. <laughs> this is not going to save you when somebody has an AK-47 points back. <laughs> what will save you is having your own. So I'm going to go to Sweden, and I'm going to ride in on a horse. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? <laughs> it's a Western country, I can do what I like. I'm going to ride in on a horse, there'll be 20 people behind me in V formation with flags in my face. Um, I'm not a hugely conceited person, as you know, but my producer and sister. <laughs> and I'm going, to give a, I'm going to give a speech to the people of Sweden. It's going to be sort of Game of Thrones style, you know? It's, 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 like, it's like Western. All on the house of Yiannopoulos to go and save the Swedish maidens. <laughs> you know what? Oh, thanks. I like that. Like that. I, you know, I've got the hair already. Maybe I should. Just... Well, I'm not taking dragons. I'm going to take micro pigs. <laughs> and I'm going to let them loose. Oh, look at you! How could anybody hate you? You're so adorable. <laughs> no, I'll let them loose. Too. Bring bacon. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Maybe. I'm sorry. Hmm? The reason I'm doing this is um, that we all in this room, or at least, I'm not, oh. I mean, as a Catholic, I kind of believe it, but I try to avoid it in politics. Um, we all, I think if we're over the age of 25, perhaps, there's some responsibility for the bad situation we now find ourselves in. Because we believed the left when they lied to us. We believed them when they said they had our back. We believed them when they said that Republicans were racist and sexist and misogynist and homophobic and transphobic. Are they? That was a lie. What they were instead trying to do is control you by calling you names. What they were trying to do is shut down your free speech like they just did with my Twitter account and they will come for you to make no mistake about it. Do not be fooled. You are all next. If you're the wrong group with the wrong beliefs, the left will come for you. And the left includes social uh, includes Silicon Valley. What gay people have to understand, and I'll leave you with this because I don't want to get back to drinking. So. <laughs> Gay people bear some responsibility. It was us. It was me. 
it was this group who gave the left their power. They gave fashion designers, inventors, artists, politicians, going back further in history, warlords. We're on average smarter than uh, straight people, so we're over. All the capitalists. Sorry about it. Uh, <laughs> But we sort of did this. We gave the left the power that they have. We enabled them. We colonized Hollywood and the media. All of the other places they, they wanted us to be and they wanted us to, to spread these, um, what have become insane, hateful social justice maxims. But what we have given, we can take away. And it's time for us to take it away. So uh, the only thing that Breitbart's ever cut from a column of mine um, was a joke. I said, uh, the Daily Beast says that white only on your grinder profile is racist. Well, my grinder profile says blacks only. Is that racist? <laughs> Hell no. Obviously, I wouldn't write blacks only because I don't want to offend potential mates. So I'll just write, don't contact me if you're under seven inches or you know who your dad is. It is time for us to speak with one loud, clear voice and say no more. The left stranglehold on homosexuals is over. Yep. <laughs> Incredible speakers. Let's for all of them. Let's give it up. 